Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to do a video that I've been, uh, I've had a few requests on. Uh, we talk about it a lot on our live videos and stuff like that. And it's actually how I personally make pinto beans. Uh, I know this is kind of a a, a weird video, um, but uh, we've had a couple of requests to do it. So I'm going to show how I do it, how I cook them. Uh, I mean, really. It might help somebody out. Then again, it might not. I don't. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I'm just gonna show you how we do it. <clears throat> Normally, I do a two-pound bag. Um, but with that being said, I mean the the steps, the process, still the same. Um, what I got is I got just a just a standard one-pound bag of pintos. You can buy these at the dollar stores, Walmart, any just basically any store you go to. You can buy them in one-pound bags, two-pound bags, and. Uh, you actually can get them in 20 pound bags and that's normally how we get them and we put them in mylar and we put them in five gallon buckets and we store them long term <clears throat> so um anyway we have the beans okay what all i put in mine is uh bouillon cubes i use uh beef bouillon cubes uh to give it that taste to where it uh a lot of people put like uh, soup bones or ham bones or something in their beans uh, I never really liked that because I didn't like the meat floating around in my beans and stuff like that. I just like I just like my beans, so I like that taste, but I don't like that crap floating around in my beans. So what I do is I use uh, bouillon cubes. Um, if you use enough of these, you get like a real thick broth, you know, in the beans, the soup and stuff. Um, and what I do is I use eight of these. Uh, I know that's a lot, but that, that's that's the way I like them. Um, <clears throat> I just take and put them, you know, once once I put my beans in there, I just take and drop these in there, and space them out. Uh, on these on these bu on these bouillon cubes, you can also use uh, chicken if you want. Uh, it just all depends on what kind of taste you like, like a chicken broth or something like that. But I like the beef broth in, in mine. I think it's really good the way that it comes out. All right, and then uh, the other recipe that I I mean the other ingredient that I have is garlic powder. I like uh, I like putting garlic powder in mine to give it that taste and the smell. After I cook my beans, I cook my cornbread, and we will be cooking cornbread tomorrow with uh cornmeal that we ground ourselves from uh whole corn uh feed corn dent corn we're going to grind our own uh corn well actually we have some back here already ground up and i'm going to use that to uh, uh make my cornbread with and uh, we'll do that you know throughout it'll probably be in this video so we'll show that too and uh, i'll show how the beans turn out and i'll show the steps how i do it and stuff like that and these right here are fresh ramps straight from the mountains of western north carolina i cleaned them myself uh <clears throat> anybody that knows what a ramp is it's basically a wild onion and uh it's it's a different it's a kind of a spicy like onion uh, it's kind of hard to explain if you ever if you have never eaten one i, I really don't know just onion eat like a spicy onion um just wild they're really really good and being you know growing up here in the mountains and stuff like that you'll know what a ramp is <clears throat> so that'll come tomorrow i ate, I ate those raw just like that right there with my beans and cornbread and what i do is I basically just tear my beans open and pour them in the strainer. Well, I have a strainer inside my pot. Uh, I normally do this at the zinc, but I'm sitting over here to just show you guys on the camera here. Pour, pour them in the strainer. All right. Like I said, I normally don't use a pot. It normally uses zinc, but there it is, just beans in the strainer. Now I'm gonna take some water here, just straight water. I'm just gonna rinse them off, get the dust and stuff like that off of them. That's basically all I do is I sit down and water. Like it and you just kinda kind of slosh them around and wash them off pretty good. I mean, uh, these things whenever you buy them, I mean they could have little rocks in them. Uh, all kinds of crap. You just got to watch and uh, anything that floats you need to take out. So, and that's straight out of the store like that. So, all right, those are, those are pretty good. Let me grab a couple paper towels here. All righty. The water, they weren't too dirty. A little dusty as all. That's normal. I don't see no rocks in it. Uh, normally you want to sift them a little bit, sift there's any rocks in there. 
anything you like, you see that you don't like, just toss it out. Uh, but for the most part, you know, sling them all over the floor like that, they're always good the way they are. <clears throat> all right, um, these things right here are uh, crock pot liners, slow cooker liners, whatever they want to call them. We, we got to where we use these a lot because this really cuts down on uh, basically cleaning the crock pot, you know, scrubbing it and stuff like that. And these things really work good too. Uh, when you get done, I could just pick it up out there and the crock pot's pretty much clean, just rinse it out a little bit. You just stuff it down in there and fold it around the sides. Basically is all you do. Just like that. All right, now I'll just take the beans and pour them in there. Just like that. All right, clean up my mess. All right, now what I'll do is I'll take this garlic powder and there's really no certain amount that you want to put in it. I just put in what I think I, I would like and I normally put a lot in mine, just so you know. Uh, I just let it roll in there like that. About like that. That should be good. And then, like I said, I'll take eight of these bouillon cubes. There's exactly eight left in here. So I'll just take these things um, and open them up. All right, here's the eighth one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, eight. That's eight. I just, like I said, I just placed them in there randomly all over the place. Okay. All right. Then basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a little bit of salt. And I'm going to put that in there. All right. I'm just going to take this. I can put the water in it over here, I suppose. I normally fill it, not all the way to the top, probably about half an inch or so down from the top. All right, just lid back on the water. Cap back on the water. And that thing goes all the way in, just like that. Okay, just set it over here. And the crock pot. I guess I need to make sure this liner's not kind of under it. Huh? Just fold it over. And what I'll do is I'll put it on low. So you got you got a, a, a warm, a low, and a high. So what I'll do is I'll put it on low. And I'll let it sit here. Put the lid on, of course. I'll let this thing sit here overnight until we get up in the morning. Um, I always start mine of a night. That way uh, they kind of basically just like warm and heat and soak overnight. And then in the morning when we get up, I'll come in here and kick it on high and let it cook all day to like three, four, five o'clock, whatever time we eat. Um, I'll let them cook, boil until it's time to eat, whatever time that is. So uh, I'll let them go to tomorrow evening to time for supper time or whatever. And, uh, but you got to come in per periodically stir them, you know, and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, that's uh, that's basically how I cook them. Um, anyway, we'll come back tomorrow, and uh, we'll make the cornbread with the uh, the cornmeal that we ground ourselves from the whole corn that we have. Uh, we got back in our whole corn. We had to grind another little bit to, to make this cor cornbread with this weekend. But uh, anyway, uh, we'll get done with that, and we'll be back just as soon as these beans are cooked tomorrow. Uh, It'll be in the same video, but uh, it'll be overnight for us, but just a few seconds for you guys. Anyway, uh, we'll be back. All right, while those beans are cooking, uh, if you haven't done so yet, guys, uh, please hit that like and subscribe button. It'll help our channel out a little bit. Uh, if you like this kind of content, the uh, homesteading, off-grid, solar, uh, water ca rain catchment, anything like that, uh, anything that we do as far as animals you know stuff like that if you hit if you like any of this stuff hit that subscribe button because we're all the time coming up with different things to do and uh, all projects that we have coming up this year which we have a ton of projects coming up but anyway uh if you can guys please hit that subscribe button and uh we'll get back to the video everybody seen our wonder mill how we grind our corn right there that's how much we got left we we'll have to refill this 
That's whole corn. Uh, here it is, right here. That's ground that we have ground. This does have a little bit of a, a popcorn in it too. Just what I'm going to do. Uh, well, when we get done with it, we'll be uh, we'll be vacuum sealing it with the little thing that we done a video on earlier. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this cornmeal, and I don't care about measuring and stuff like that. It's just for us. So, and that Wonder Mill grind just stuff uh, like very very fine if you want it to. Okay, that's plenty right there. I have two eggs straight out of the chicken coop today, so get them in here. We're going to melt butter. We got half a stick of butter. We're going to melt and put in there, pour in there. Put a little bit of salt in it. Like I said, I don't measure mine. I just kind of know how much I want in it. All right. Pour some milk in here. And I still have a disclaimer that I am not a chef by no means. I'm not a cook by no means. That's pretty good right there. Okay. The oven's heating up. As soon as the oven gets heated up, we'll uh, we'll put these in. And we'll come back when these are done, and I'll show you what the pinto beans and all that stuff look like. But while we're waiting on all this stuff to get done here, uh, if you ain't done so yet, uh, hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, anyway, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, now that we got the muffin mix in the muffin pans, I'm going to go ahead and seal this jar back up. And put it back in storage. It is sealed up. Put my ring back on it. I right, just got the cornbread out of the out of the oven. Um, it's still hot. We put butter on top of it. It's melting. Uh, here's one we already been eating on, just to sample it. So there's what it come out like with butter on it. It's still hot. You can see the steam coming off of it. But. <laughs> It is good. That is some good cornbread though. Mm -hmm. Anyway. And wrap. And I clean these. Uh, these are, like I said, any of you mountain folks out there knows exactly what that is. That's a rant. I ate them raw. I got the beans out. Uh, I ate mine. I try not to get too much juice in them. And that's the way I do it. And then I basically eat cornbread with it. And I eat these ramps with it. Take a bite of beans, take a bite of ramp. These things I could smell really good. So, anyway, we're going to eat, guys. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, if you would, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you. See you on the next one. Good job. I like to subscribe. I like to subscribe. There you go. Good job.